should be doing my top 10 favourite TV shows, past and now present, well like past TV shows, not my childhood past, but past TV shows that have got cancelled or recent ones that haven't been cancelled. So, number 10, because we're doing 10 downwards, so number 10 being the ones that I like and then number one being the ones that I love. So number 10 is Lost. Now this was like one of the one of the greatest shows that came out years ago and I loved it. <laughs> um, so basically what was happening was a plane crashed in an island and everything came about weird like people were walking when they couldn't physically walk so that was a bit weird like polar bears started to appear you know like other monsters started to appear so like yes it was a bit strange um but sadly obviously it ended on the sixth season and it's no longer on telly or you get you do get you know the um dvd packs um on sky or whatever but like yeah or it's like reruns at some point but there's no actual current seasons that are out so number nine is torchwood now i loved torchwood it was like my shit back in the day um so yes it obviously finished and it's not obviously going to renew itself I don't think if it did I would totally watch it <laughs> um, so basically it was Captain Jack aka John Barrowman um, he was the doctor and um, he was connected to one of the other females like they really had like a love thing going on but like he would go about sleeping with men so he was like I think his character was like bisexual and it was cool I wasn't like you know I love John Barman and he is awesome anyways so yeah it was just like a spin-off of Doctor Who, but I loved it. <laughs> Me and my mum used to always watch it, so yeah. Eight, Dance Academy. Now, Dance Academy, I didn't think it was going to be my type of thing <laughs> um, because all I thought was, oh, it's just a bunch of people that are dancing, nothing's going to happen. There's a lot of tough stuff that happen. Oh my god. There's like love triangles, there's back breaks. There's like back breaks as in like broken backs. There's like deaths. Like, oh my god. Yeah. So if you ever wanted to watch it, it's on Netflix. Although they've only done see they've only done up to season three and I don't know if I don't think they're renewing anything. Like it pretty much just said it in the last episode that they were done in that like third year. And like, yeah. So I don't know. I think it's finished. Seven. Friends. Now, I used to hate friends when I was younger because I didn't understand what, like, you know, the jokes were or what things were going about and everything like that because I was really, really small when my uh, sister started watching it. But I decided months ago that I would kind of re-watch it I mean I've seen snippets when I was younger and everything but then when I watched it like I remember a whole lot of things and it was so weird because I remember watching it a little bit when I was younger but I didn't remember any of it until I watched it and I'm like what <laughs> this is strange um but it's funny um there's a lot of romance like well I mean like a lot of <laughs> joy saying how are you doing <laughs> and um 
Yeah, so my favourite character has to be Joey, you know, because he's funny. <laughs> and my favourite girl is Monica because, well, <laughs> she is like such a clean freak and it's so funny. But yeah, you can't touch anything without her going crazy. So if you've never watched it, you've never heard of it before, you should go ahead and watch it. But it's like so funny. Six, Beyond. Okay, so this came out last year and it's only one season. I've heard that there's season two coming out, but I don't know if it's still happening. I don't know if it's out already or whatever. And if it is, my bad, because I haven't watched it yet. Um, so basically, it's about like a little boy goes into a coma and he's in a coma for a long time. I think it's like 12 or 13 years. I haven't seen it in a while. Like it was like the summertime when I seen it, I'm pretty sure, last year. So I would have to like go back and see it and make sure that it's right. But it's about 12 or 13 years and he comes out of it and he's like, he's like 20 ish years old or whatever and he's like he's getting used and yeah it's complicated if you've not watched it so if you want to watch it go ahead it's on netflix again everything i see is on netflix <laughs> riverdale number five now i didn't know where to put riverdale i knew that it wasn't going to be number one and I knew it wouldn't be number 10 because I still love Riverdale. Now Riverdale, again, is on Netflix. But the newer season isn't quite on Netflix yet, I don't think. I don't know, I don't think so. Um, It's about, you know, these two twins and one of them fakes her death. And then, you know, she says that, oh, he's dead and everything. But in reality, his dad murdered him and you find out who the murderer is and then season two, everything just goes, ha, 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 oh my god, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I am not going to spoil anymore, so if you want to watch it, Netflix again. Um, four is Supergirl. Again, I didn't know which one to put it in. I knew it wasn't going to be my number one. And if you know me personally, you know exactly what's my number one. Um, So, Supergirl is obviously related to Superman. And obviously she does the same things as Superman. Like, superpower. Um, superpower? Oh, gosh, she's got a superpower. Um, super strength. You know, laser eyes. Um, basically, she's, she's, she's living a double life. I mean, she's Supergirl and, like, any other time and then she's you know Kara and she falls in love with Monel and then she just yeah they end up like having to like separate because stuff happens and then he comes back seven months later but in reality it's seven years later for him and he's already married so that's all I'm gonna say so please Check that out because it's a great show. Um, season, season, no, three is Teen Wolf. So this is my top three now, is Teen Wolf. And honestly, this is finished. This finished on season six. And honestly, I cried so much when it, when I, well, I cried so much when I heard it was finishing. And then I cried so much when I, when I seen the last episode and it was so, it was hard to watch, like, it honestly was. Um, so many people returned. It's basically about this boy that gets bitten by a werewolf. And he basically has to live with the fact that he's a werewolf now. And he can't do anything about it. Um, and then he's, like, he becomes, he becomes, like, the alpha. And... He's just so sexy. <laughs> oh. uh, two. Oh yeah. Um, Netflix as well. Two. The Flash. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
still on, thankfully. It's not finished. Um, it's obviously about this, like, obviously, it's a comic book as well. Um, the Flash is basically a guy that gets <sighs> hit by <laughs> electricity that came from Star Labs and obviously he got the powers to be the Flash and he's controlled it over the years and he, yeah, he fights crime to protect others. That was actually in his intro. So, yes. <laughs> uh, Netflix as well. But, hang on, is it? Pretty sure. Netflix. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Nope, I lied. Not Netflix. But if you check out, um, check out any online free uh, websites that let you watch any episodes of any TV shows, and if Flash is available, then totally go there. I've I'm on Watch Serious, and also I like to watch it on. Um, Put Locker. Put Locker. Completely forgot there. Okay, last one. Um, number one is Vampire Diaries. Honestly, love Vampire Diaries. This is like my ultimate favourite TV show, honestly. Um, it's obviously about... Two brothers that are vampires and they're like hundreds of years old and there's a girl called Elena and another girl called uh, Catherine and they are doppelgangers. Catherine is evil, Elena is nice. Elena is human for most of the seasons, she turns vampire in season four. And then obviously Catherine kept on coming in and out and then she died and then she came back alive. It's all crazy, but it's super amazing. There's a lot of deaths, there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of kissing, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of hard times where you just want to scream and yell and tell the person to fuck off. But yes, I love it. <laughs> so please subscribe, comment, share and like and hopefully you enjoyed my list of TV shows. Bye.